Okay, um, another review. Um, these I've been waiting for quite a while. Um, something I want. There is a breeding pair and an adult female. Um, they are from Tartan Tranchlers, which obviously stain it, um, however you want to call it. And I've ordered three. So. I'm going to grab them out without making too much of a mess. That's the yellow. C pent. And C pent. So, a breeding pair of C pentalor and an Iguacus species yellow. Um, I'm just going to go on get my tub so I can open it up and sort them out. So, back in a second. Um, I thought I'd do the sea pentel on male first, see how big he is. Um, don't know how big these are, I'll be honest with you. Just hanging about. So this is the sea pentel male. Looking quite stocky for a male, very well fed. It's from Stainy, so don't expect anything less. Um, it's quite well fed and bulky for a male. I wonder how big the female is. Hmm. Quite calm as well. Not complaining about that light with it. Yeah, it's a bit bulky for a male. Yeah, it is marked up as a male, so. Hmm. Um, I'll just grab a tank and some dirt and um, sort him out. Okay, uh, back in a sec. Costa Mel's gone happily back into his little, um, uh, his little like ditch. I'm gonna see how big the female is. I'm curious. Ah, that makes sense. Hmm. Let's um, grab this out so I can see her a bit better. Hmm. Seems a bit more skittish than the male. Yeah, I'll just see what size it is because um, I've got a sea fashy atom. I'm not too sure if it's fully grown. A very similar species. Hmm. Yeah, this one seems quite shy. The male seems a bit more active. Um, I'm actually going to see what size they all are first so I can start enclosures. So this is the sea pentalor female. Just going to leave her in a little ditch and get the e-species yellow. Okay, back in a sec. So this is the e-species yellow. I've got no, I've got all my confidence this one's not going to run away or anything. Oh my days. <laughs> Never had new office so I don't know how big they are. I'm guessing this one's calm. Uh, I'm gonna trust my judgment. You have a species, I suppose, they're calm. I didn't know he uh, he uh, he was this small. No, I've never had one, so I don't hold tranches too often, just so people know. Um, yes, this is a you have a species yellow. <laughs> Rather cute, to be fair. Um, yeah, I don't hold tarantulas too much. It doesn't interest me. And it doesn't really affect the tarantula too much. At least the nice one's active. And she's not bothered. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to house up all these. I'm probably going to house them up in... Hmm. I'll just get some enclosures and see what I decide. Okay, um, I'll transfer them over in a second. Uh, back in a sec. Okay, uh, back in a sec. So this is the enclosure I'm giving you off of species yellow. She's actually just walked on my hand and she's not really fussed. She's just here. Yeah, really active. So, and she's already out of the tub. Come on. 
because this is perfect size for a oh. really see the yellow um, as you can see she's miles bigger than water bowl so she's perfect size to have one um, one of these smaller ones so now she's going to drown in that and she's back out typical of you Atlas always wants to be happy Okay, well I'm going to get into the tub and I'll show you her just after because she's slowly climbing up my arm. So yeah, back in a sec. As I always do in my videos, change my mind about what I've <laughs> housing. You have this few she's yellows in that now. But um, I got told by Stainy that they're really, uh, what's the word, they wander a lot. Most of my tarantulas just sit in one space, so <laughs> just very rare, you see as see one that's wandering um this is the female i'm gonna house her in this i'm gonna house her like that because i'm gonna breed her so literally i can just see perfect uh, trying to think yeah so i can see him perfect just got on. i might change my mind i always do to be fair so yeah um The only thing that's bugging me is she's got all this back space where that is that she can't get to. So, hmm. Give me a second, I might change my mind. Back in a sec. Okay, this is the male. Um, male's going in this one, I've changed it up a bit. Um, It's quite calm to say my C fasciatum is like peak on Ceratis, so come on. Come on. Come on. Could be a while. He is very f stocky to say he's a male. Just been well fed. This is from Stainy, what do you expect? Yeah, that's it. Go on. I think he'll be one malt of maturing. I'm guessing so. Come on. Females get in, same as a fasciatum. Some pretty good tanks. Come on. In there. And I'm going to put the lid on before he scar runs off because I know what a siege fresh pattern is like. Relatively easy though that. So I'll leave him settle down in there and I'll just house up the female uh, back in a sec. Um, the C pencil off female is getting exact same as what my C fresh atom got. Piece of bark stuck up. Um, it'll make its hides out. Uh, it'll make its own burrows out it wants. Um, but for the meantime, it can hide under it if it wants. And I put the bowl behind it because I noticed mine likes to burrow on the opposite uh, where its hide entrances. So yeah, I've got a feeling this one's going to be skittish. If I just drop the phone, it means I need to catch it. Oh, see what I mean? See fresh atoms. I mean, sea pentalogs. Same as my sea fresh atom, apparently. Oh! Crikey! Why, hello! It's that big! That big! And it's. Attacking me. It's stupid. Can we can give you nice? Nope. Okay. I'm gonna need two hands to do this. Um back in a second. My god. When they want to bolt, they're not fast, but my god are they skittish. Flapping its flaming legs everywhere, going mad. Christ. 
Well, that was entertaining. Shame I didn't catch it on camera, but literally all it did was run around the enclosure. Well, literally, I was just, I had it like that in the enclosure. It ran out, sat on my leg. I was shitting myself. Then I tapped it away. It ran all the way around the enclosure and jumped in. Nutcase. So yeah, um, happy with that. Glad the male's quite calm. Um, but all I'm going to say is when I'm going to breed him, he is fucked by the looks of it because she's crazy. It's like a stone and females seem to be really pissy. I don't understand why, but they are. Um, okay, uh, I'll just give an update on all of them and give a review. Well, obviously we know the review, the review is going to be good, but yeah. Okay, back in a sec. So that's a sea pentalo female. Um, she's very, very pissy. So I'm just gonna leave her be. Okay. Um, we'll just do our back in a sec and review it all. Obviously, it's gonna be good, but yeah, back in a sec. So yeah. Um, this is what I ordered from Stainy, obviously. Sea pentalo male. Female, and you offer species yellow. So yeah, um, um, that's pretty much it. Um, as per usual, the rev review part perfect. Never any problems with staying there, um, ever. So um, all packed well. We know that. We always packed stuff well, um, and everything came perfectly fine, all arrived fine. So yeah, um, good review. If you haven't been to Tartan Tarantulas yet, go there. It's um, They're on Facebook, and it's Stainy. Cheapest tarantulas around, best prices, um, probably the biggest females. Because I'm not going to lie, some of the females he sells are massive. So yeah, um, good review as usual, advising to anybody, um, so that's pretty much it, so the bit of people, bye.